Hello there, everybody out there on on, on the interwebs. This is your Uncle Ani. I'm just doing a quick introduction on dynamic wrinkles and how they can add a lot of life and expressiveness to your 3D characters. So now, you know, if you look at my very beautiful mug here, you can see that I'm a young and, you know, let's be honest, very handsome character, so I don't have wrinkle wrinkles. But if I squinch my nosy and my, my eyes, you can see those creases around my nose. Or if I look up and try to look at my own forehead, you can see the lines up there on my forehead. So those are examples of dynamic wrinkles that activate based on movement. So these are new features added for free into iClone 8 and Character Creator 4. And we're going to talk about how very easily you can add this to your characters and then export them wherever you want them to go. And so here we go. Ha. Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So along with that quick intro video, before we dig in here, it might be nice to have a bit more information on how the system actually works, even if we ourselves don't need to do much with it once it is initially set up. So here you can see from some of Reillusion's website content that the dynamic wrinkle system uses a few different elements. First up is the normal map for the actual wrinkle detail itself. And if you're not familiar with what that is, a normal map is an additional shader channel that doesn't actually add more physical detail to the 3D model, but instead calculates how the light would hit those areas if that detail were actually there. And so it basically gives the illusion of much more detail than is actually present. Now to the fuse map you're seeing next to the normal there is just showing the skin detail if it didn't have any light shading it at all. And the influence region to the right of that is what actually activates the specific parts of the wrinkle map based on what the face is actually doing. We'll talk briefly on how we can adjust all these various elements, but overall the goal here is to give you a solid idea of what the technology can do versus a full-on step-by-step tutorial. If you'd like more of those hands-on step-by-step tutorials though, check out more at our Johnny How To channel. Now with newer or updated character creator for actors, you might not actually need to do anything to get wrinkles added as they might be there by default moving forward. With this standard character creator for Kevin model loaded up, I've temporarily turned them off, but we'll fix that in just a second. Before we do that though, I'm going to go ahead and load up one of the wrinkle calibration animation sets just by going down here to motion. It's off screen from the capture window, but near the bottom here under calibration, it says wrinkle check and I'm gonna choose dramatic male and let that load up. I'll go and zoom in the camera a little bit here and I'm going to scrub around the timeline and this is the animation that's loaded. And you know, as you can see, things don't look bad here at all and by any means, but we wanna see what wrinkles can really add for us here. So I'm gonna try to find a spot where I'm looking pretty angry here. And let's go ahead and hop on over with our character selected. Just click on them if it's not already. I'm gonna go over to this new expression wrinkles icon here and just go ahead and activate expression wrinkles. And with one click, you can see the difference this is actually making, and it really is quite dramatic. And with this being the case, this is one of the features I've been most excited about being added to iClone. So if we go through to some other spots here, we'll just toggle this on and off so we can see the difference. And again, these are just the default settings and we can tweak these and we most certainly will, but you can see the difference this makes with hardly any effort on our part. If you want to adjust the intensity of the wrinkles themselves, you most certainly can. So for this CC4 Kevin character that we have this set up on, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down just slightly if you need to at all. And since the brows are being activated here, I'm gonna go ahead and select the brows here. And you can see I get this universal strength slider right here. So right now it's at 100%, meaning the wrinkles are being applied at 100% for this particular area. I can drop that down to zero or anywhere in between. And you can see it's taking place in real time. Now, if I go and zoom in here a little bit, it's worth mentioning that these wrinkles do come from real world 3D scans of characters. And in this case, I think they did do custom ones for this guy, because if we go ahead and put this down to zero on his actual texture on his physical skin, when we go in and adjust this strength slider, you can see that they actually correspond perfectly. So either these are real wrinkle scans for this character and actor in real life, or they adjusted the maps inside of something like Photoshop where they can line it up perfectly to where it looks like they correspond one-to-one. -one. We also do have the rate of appearance guy right down here, and that is how quickly the wrinkles are actually going to take effect on the person. So for instance, this guy is just starting to have the wrinkles come on his brow. If we pump this up, the wrinkles are going to be activated more quickly or more slowly for that particular region. 
For an example, with a custom character, I have our Uncle Arnie from our intro loaded up here, and I did load up the same dramatic male wrinkle expression calibration set here, and I've gone to a frame where I think that there would be a good amount of wrinkles on screen. So clearly this is not happening. We do have some that I've baked into the maps, but they're not dynamically adjusting like we want here. So if I go ahead and already having selected our wrinkle icon here and say activate expression wrinkles, it's going to say that, hey, you know, the selected avatar's expression set does not support expression wrinkles. Would you like to convert now? And it's going to give us two options. We have character creator for standard and character creator for extended. I'm going to go and do CC4 extended just because that's what I did in the intro character. But I'm going to go and click on apply. And this will take a little bit to do. And we'll go and wait for it to do its processing. What we see here is we need to load up our motion again. So I'll go ahead and do that. Go and zoom in again. And as we can see, we do have our wrinkles take an effect here now. Now the free update the character creator included only has one set of wrinkles. So you're always going to have the same wrinkles, whether you have a baby or a female or a male, but you can adjust how intense the wrinkles are going to hit the character. So for instance, if I wanted to adjust this area right here, I'll go ahead and click on that. And now we can see that we have these other options here. So I have the overall strength slider. We can adjust how intense that's going to be. In fact, maybe I'll choose the nose here so we can see that. See the nose off or on 100%. We also have the AO and crease line. And AO stands for ambient inclusion. That's how strong that self-shading is going to be. And uh, we also have redness. So when we have expansion or contraction on our skin, there is a slight reddening in those areas. So if I down this all the way, you can kind of see it's very subtle, but it gets a little bit redder when that's contracted there versus when we expand it out or in a neutral expression that wouldn't be activating. So you can adjust all these things, adjust the actual normal strength itself to where it's actually bending and catching the light, even though it's not actually adding physical detail to those areas. If you had seen the video we did previously here on AzArt, where we tried to create a digital double of Grand Moff Tarkin from Star Wars, I've opened up this project file. I'm gonna go ahead and convert that one to the new set that supports wrinkles as well. So I'll go ahead and go to the wrinkle tab, click on activate expression wrinkles. And since this character was already created using the character creator three plus set, it hasn't had to go through the conversion process like the previous character. So now if we go ahead and load up, we'll go and do functional inspection this time to have a different set from last time. And if we drag through here, we do see that we are getting wrinkles activating on the character as he's going through his range of motion. This is a little bit more inorganic, not natural way of going through things, but you can really get an idea on how things are happening. And by the way, since this character is a lot more pale, you actually do see that reddening of the skin a little bit more as he's puckering his lips there. You're getting not only the chin getting redder and getting the wrinkles there, but we're seeing it all working together. Now, if you're wanting a little bit more variation in the wrinkles you have available to you, Reillusion has released a add-on pack called Wrinkle Essentials that has different types of wrinkles that were scanned from various types of characters. So for instance, some were very saggy for older people or some were very bulky for heavier people. Then you have very shallow that might work better for female characters, so on and so forth. It also includes morphs for tune-based characters. So things that you don't want to look realistic, but you still want to have some type of stylistic wrinkles and you have a nice variation that you can choose from based on the type of tune personality you're trying to convey. Even if you just use the free built-in wrinkle set, it's going to add so much to the characters. Hopping back into custom characters, here's another older male I had created and he's using the default wrinkle set, which I think looks great. Well, let's go ahead and grab the deep saggy wrinkle set. And by the way, I'm just clicked on all and I typed wrinkle in here and it pulled up everything that's available to us. So I'm just gonna grab the 05 deep saggy and grab this onto here. And we'll go and be able to see the difference it's going to make for us. And at least for the character I think I'm shooting for here, having that variation can definitely be helpful. Though just using the base wrinkle set that comes with the 8.2 update and 4.2 update for character creator and iClone are already going to help you immensely with the characters. Up until now, having dynamic wrinkles on your characters, whether for film or for games, was something that was limited to only the highest AAA studios. For instance, Naughty Dog for The Last of Us or their Uncharted series. Those are the type of games where you usually see wrinkle maps integrated into their games. Whereas now, Reillusion has made dynamic wrinkles easily accessible to the masses, both in Character Creator 4 and in iClone 8, and it's only a one-click export to transfer your characters animated and all from iClone 8 to Unreal Engine 5 or to Unity or to Blender. And so not only do you have dynamic wrinkles, you have a great character creation suite of tools that you can fine tune all your aspects and then get them into the creation tools that you want to use them with. This is one of those steps that was still remaining to really try and bridge that gap between what an indie studio can do and what a AAA studio can do on a much more modest budget. 
Hopefully you find this technology as exciting to you as it is to me. And if that's the case, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you on the next As Art.